Hey my lovies, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more of these videos, can you subscribe, like, share and hit on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you've been here for a while, thank you so much guys for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're new, come on in, come on in, take them shoes off, make yourself feel at home. What can I offer you? <laughs> I'm going to offer you uh, pot dumplings today guys i am just going to you know write everything on the screen for you and down below as well on the description box so that you can go back and refer guys and thank you so much for the messages guys i know it has been a while guys i've been you know having kind of um you know challenges challenges i'm fine now challenges in my life guys so i am i'm so grateful for the message that, that you guys left for me on instagram and facebook thank you i really really appreciate it guys <laughs> thank you so much sometimes you know you just have to you know s take a step back and you know sort your life out so that's what i did guys i know it has been um two weeks now two weeks i didn't upload any video but i am so grateful for you guys for your care and for your love and you know everything you know just um everything guys and you're just going to start off by mixing all your dry ingredients like so guys you're just going to you know mix that make sure everything is nice and mixed okay this is what i'm doing now guys hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's doing fine i missed you guys i really did i missed you your <coughs> interaction on uh, youtube you know your comments your love you know that's what I really missed and I am so grateful for having you guys and, and I'm back now I am I'm back now I'm going to like um, be posting like I always did on Tuesday and a Saturday so <clears throat> I am just going to do that okay so yeah what I am going to do now I am just going to you know it's it's handy to have a scale in your kitchen it's super super handy you know <laughs> so if you guys can get a scale it it will help you it will really really help you and this scale i just i bought it like six euro just six euro just so cheap so you guys now you know the scale is not expensive the scale is not expensive at all i'm going to measure my unsalted butter guys you really need a room temperature room temperature temperature uh, butter guys you do not have to uh, melt it because if you are going to melt your butter you are going to add more liquid to your to your flour and it's just going to make it watery but if you do that by mistake guys if you do that by mistake you can always um add a little bit of flour bit by bit until you get the consistency okay yes that's the trick behind it guys if your butter you feel like it's water you can really add more um flour to it that's what you can do to fix that okay and today guys i'm just going to use my stand and mixer guys i think it's handy <laughs> i think it's handy it's super handy and you're just going to need your milk it has to be um since we are using yeast you need a uh, look on milk guys okay yes room temperature eggs okay yeah that's what you are going to use i'm going to use like i said i'm going to use this bad boy it's so handy to use it so that's what i am going to use but if you do not have it's okay you can just go ahead and use your put your hand hands in there and you are just going to be fine okay you just have to need more okay longer yes yeah that what you're going to do and now i am just going to you know add my um wet ingredients i am making sure that everything is mixed there well so i'm just going to add my milk now like i said look on milk yeah you're just going to add your milk and mix everything i feel like so guys hope everybody's doing well and if i am going to add my eggs here at this point one at a time guys one at a time make everything make sure everything is nice and you know mixed yeah yes that's what you're going to do and i am just going to you know you know kind of um mix everything together 
yeah guys i'm going to mix uh my eggs okay the reason why i am you know not um kind of breaking my eggs and straight to the um my flour is because i don't want any shell to you know by mistake any shell by mistake to you know mixed with my uh my flour because i did that before i, I did that before guys so yeah okay yeah guys <clears throat> and if you're new kindly subscribe like share and hit on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video guys so i am you know i'm grateful guys for you being here like i said do not um uh, melt your butter i i melted my butter <laughs> by mistake so yeah that's what it is i put it on top of the stove i cooked i was <clears throat> cooking it earlier once so my stove was still hot so i just put that by mistake so my butter melted without me realizing it but if you do melt it by mistake guys you just have to add more um flour like i said okay yes i just going to you know mix everything up like so guys you really have to knead 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 your your dough until it's you know nice and mixed well you will see as we go along so i'm just going to leave you here and i'll continue so you know you watch that and i'll continue with you guys
watching guys and you know see how how I did it I'm back guys this is after five minutes like I told you I'm just going to show you now how to taste that you are just going to take a little bowl add a bit and you're going to microwave it for two minutes you see how it is now it's, it's just cooked and I'm just going to taste it you remember I told you it's going to if, if I didn't add this cornstarch it was going to be kind of watery but because I added a uh, cornstarch it's not going to be watery and I'm just going to um add a bit of pepper and salt that's what i needed and you can if you have chili oil guys you can add it you can add chili oil but as for me i felt like i really need a bit of heat 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 or if you have kind of um a chili sauce you know a chili sauce here yeah, you can use chili sauce as well to do so and what i'm going to do now i'm just going to make sure everything is nice mixed i am going to mix because i added um ingredients i'm going to do another five minutes guys so in total i did about 10 minutes okay yeah this is for me mixing and mixing so i continue watching and seeing how i do it guys it's super easy to make this and it's very expensive you know they are very expensive to buy in the chinese shops guys all right and i felt like i needed a bit of fish oil i don't know how i <laughs> This was at this point, so I added a bit of fish sauce. But you do not have to, guys. You don't have to. That's what I felt like on this day, guys. Okay. Yes, this is fish sauce. If you may ask, yes, this is fish sauce, guys. I'm just going to mix everything like so. Yeah. Yes. Make sure you mix well. You mix well, guys. And I'm cleaning as I do to make sure my surface is nice and clean. This is me it's done i am just going to make sure my bowl is nice and clean you can transfer this into a different bowl but because oh, i don't have time i don't have time today guys <laughs> yeah look how beautiful beautiful i told you that our dough is going to double in size and you really need a big bowl for it and this is me i do use my big bowl and it's doubled in size and you're just going to take out your clean feel. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Very beautiful. You're just going to take your flower and kind of sprinkle your surface where you're just going to work so that nothing transfer. Yeah. That's what I did there, guys. Oh, look how beautiful it is, guys. And what I did now, I'm just going to kind of bring everything together like so. me waiting for about one minute guys all right hope you are enjoying this video and if you are new kindly subscribe like and share hit on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video i am going to link down my other social medias guys so that anytime you make any of my videos you can tag me along guys i would love to see how you are doing yours guys okay how you are doing yours all right and thank for supporting me thank you for your love thank you for your message guys like i said on facebook on instagram i really really appreciate it guys you are the best you are the best followers i could ever ask for i really appreciate it guys and you're just going to take a rolling pin and you're going to flatten your dough guys take your time is doing it this um <laughs> The camera is in front of me, so I couldn't do it all, guys. So, but I tried. 
to make it look natural so i'm just going to roll roll it roll my um roll my dough like so guys yeah yeah going to roll it to make sure that um everything is nice and tight and well and you're just going to kind of you know the way i'm massaging it kind of rolling it and you're going to seal it that's what i am doing there making sure everything doesn't follow the follow new <laughs> So, yeah, follow you when you um, add your your feeling, guys. So you just want to kind of um, pinch on the side the way you saw me doing, guys. And you're just going to measure. You can measure it and cut it. If I measured it, guys, because you know it's easier that way. But if you feel like you don't need to measure it, you don't really need to, and you're just going to cut like so. You see the way I'm cutting it here. Yeah what you are going to do guys okay yeah this is nice 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 and it looks nice as well and it was really easy to work with okay so the recipe you won't find it difficult for you to use the dough it won't transfer into your hands or stick into your hands so you're just going to follow um, the recipe and you'll be good to go guys i'm going to link down everything like i said everything down below so that you can always go back and refer and you just want to take your dough one by one and kind of push it the way i'm doing kind of flattening it with your hands like so guys you see how beautiful it is yeah i really enjoy this guys and olga and small olga too they really love them <laughs> they really love them so if i turn this channel into dumplings guys don't don't <laughs> don't blame me kidding guys but they really loved it if you really add this to your family menu guys i promise you they're going to love it you're going to take your rolling pin again and kind of you know take your flour make sure it does not uh, stick to your dough as you roll it guys okay hope everybody has subscribed like share and hit on the notification bell guys so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and you're just going to cover your dough put it in one side so set it aside to cover it because it's going to dry off guys it's just going to dry off and so you see the way i'm doing i'm just kind of flattening it and on the side as well so that it, when i kind of mold it it sticks to each uh, it really sticks and you, in the middle of your um your dough you really need to be thick because as you add your feeling it's going to if it's not thick if you add your feeling it's going to kind of break okay so you really need uh, that you see how i did it it's kind of you know like i said you really need to in the middle needs to be you don't really need to kind of roll it until it's thin it doesn't need to be thin you really need yeah but it not to be thin so that you can add your feeling and it will not This is how I do it, guys. This is how I do it. So how easy it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, finish that up and show you how I do my feeling, guys. Okay. Remember your your feeling. You set it aside for about how long did I set it? I think for about an hour. Okay. For about an hour. Now you're going to take your dough like so after rolling it see and you're going to add your feeling our size it's really up to you how do you do you boo do you boo <laughs> how much you like it? it's okay and you're just going to pinch the size together like so i really don't know how to explain this but you just kind of pinch them together you see how easy it is just you can um you know if you didn't see it well how i do it you can really go back and see how i did it i really don't really don't just pinching pinching the sides together like so just bringing them together you see and make sure that your feeling is in the middle you remember when i told you again that you really need your middle to be thick than the, the sides your thighs need to be thin so that when you bring it together like so it holds and if you need to like kind of take your water 
water and rub a little bit of water on the side you can do so as well you really can do the uh, so i think that's the best way to do so that everything can go together or stick in together see that's how easy it is just bring it together and look how beautiful it is guys i think it's beautiful what do you think comment down below and let me know guys <laughs> or if you any if you have any uh, question question about this recipe or any other of my recipe about anything or if you have any suggestion for me what you you like or what you might like me to try i am willing to do so guys so comment down below and i am going to check it out and do that for you guys okay if you have any recipe any family recipes guys if you want to suggest let me know and i am like i said i am here to learn i'm only saying i'm here to learn guys all right thank you so much guys i'm just going to do a few times like so so that you can really see how i do it like i said feeling as well is up to you how much you want to put your feeling how much you can do just one big do if you want to do that but it will take time to cook you need your steamer to do this if you do not have a steamer guys if you do not have a steamer you can boil yeah you can boil take a big bowl add a lot of water and boil this can come out nicely too because we have similar thing in Botswana it's called madombi we boil our madombi you know we boil it and it comes up nice so you can do this as well all right yeah this is me making sure everything is nice and you really need a room don't put a lot of um a lot of buns you don't need a lot of buns you just need um few so that you know they are just going to double in size as well as you cook them as you steam then they're just going to double so i bought that and you know you know so they didn't stick like i told you need a bit of water and kind of stick it together that's what i did so this is how beautiful it is i love buns my family love buns i always make this guys I always make this and this is us we are done making sure every this is space this is a room so this is us guys and we are just going to cover this cover this for about 30 minutes guys just cover it about 30 minutes until it nice and double guys so hopefully you have subscribed like and share my video guys okay thank you guys so i am just going to you know cover it and let it rest mm -hmm. and i'm just now i'm going to show you another trick this is like for my son now for my son <laughs> small log i really loves this pig lab i did them some uh, i did them before and he really loved them i think that's so funny to him so i'm just going to do how i do this one you are just going to like bring your the door like so and kind of this one you really have to pinch it tight because you know you're just going to flip and kind of mold it into a round ball like so okay and what i am just going to do next i am just going to make sure everything is nice and round here yeah, i am just going to do again feel again show you how it's done okay or you can really however you you you, you can do it like kind of it's really up to you if whatever works for you like i said and i'm just going to take my um I um, colored this dough. You don't have to color it. It's still going to um, be nice, but I, I think I need to do something fun for my son, guys. Something fun, you know. Look how beautiful it is. Look how this is so beautiful. I think the color too is nice. So you see, this is how easy you do it. It's super easy. You can experiment and see how it works for you guys. Anyhow you feel like it will work for you, you can do it guys and if you feel like you you know your little elements do not hold you can take water guys water and kind of you know paste it with water as well and it will paste so i'm just going to do this yes <laughs> this is cute it's a really cute i like this it looks nice my son was you know my god screaming yes. he was so happy it, um, it makes me happy when he's very happy you know it 
validates that I'm doing a good job as a mom. I'm not perfect. I'm trying, guys. I am trying. Nobody's perfect. So this is what it is, guys. <laughs> but they are so cute. They are so cute, guys. If you really want to see the picture, you can go on um, oh, a video of, of this. You can go on my Instagram. I've posted it, guys. And you just need a little holes on it. You see? This is how it came in. This is how it's so easy. Super easy to make, guys. And your, your young ones will love it. Okay? Or if you have a, a big baby like me. I have a big baby at home. So, <laughs> oh, God. You really loved it, too. So, this is something fun. Something fun you can do them to do for them. Or surprise them. And they will love it. So, that's me, guys. That's me. See, like I said, if it does not stick, you can always use your um, water and it will stick. You can color your doll. Any colors you feel like you can color, it's up to you. And your family love it. Okay, now it's time for us to steam. <laughs> steam, you really need your hot water, guys. Make sure hot water is there. And I am just going to steam my buns to 18 to 20 minutes, guys. 18 to 20 minutes and they'll be nice and fluffy. Okay, you are just going to thank me for this recipe. You will love them. This is a game changer for those ones in Botswana that loves Madumbi. You can do this one and you love it. We love Madumbi in Botswana. It's, it's steam buns, same as steam buns. See how beautiful it is. Look how cute it is. <laughs> oh my word, I really loved it, guys. And I hope you are going to love it too. You are just going to enjoy this with your family. And, you know just hope you'll enjoy it with your family thank you guys for being here and i hope you are going to subscribe share this recipe with your loved ones guys this is the second time i've done it guys um the second batch so you can and because that's that's a lot of um, dough so you can you can still oh you know what you can do with that same dough if it's a lot for you you can do your um donuts yeah i use the same recipe for donuts you know for this very one so you can do donuts and it's super easy i will link down my video for my donuts and you're going to love it so you're going to sprinkle a bit of shell 